What's going on, guys? I'm Hello there. Hi, how you doing? Hey guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Uh, hello there. I feel like I have to say that every time I talk about Star Wars. <laughs> oh man, I had way too much fun with that intro, but hope you all are doing well. I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 favorite uh, Star Wars lightsaber duels. Now, Star Wars, I feel like I gush about quite a bit here on the channel. It's something I grew up with love. I recently put out my uh, toy collection video. I call it the toy collection video. I actually had Blu-rays and DVDs, a bunch of stuff in there, but that was a ton of fun for me to do. Check that out if you haven't. The one rule I made when I made this video is I'm only talking about 10 lightsaber duels from the Skywalker Saga. So coming in at number 10 for me is gonna be Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Vader in A New Hope. Now, this is the least choreographed lightsaber fight by far, and it's honestly probably the most boring when it comes down to it. You just see Ben Kenobi and Darth Vader, former master and apprentice, meet, and uh, they fight on the Death Star. Obviously, Ben Kenobi meets his death, but I still think the fight is, like, spectacular when it comes to the visuals for the time. It honestly pays homage to, like, the Kurosawa films that I know George Lucas drew inspiration from, but it's still, like, cool. And honestly, it was a fight that I think is one of the most iconic when it comes to imagery. At least the shot of Obi-Wan versus Vader from far away, it's like a wide, and when their lightsabers clash, that's iconic stuff. Coming in at number nine for me is Yoda versus Emperor Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith. Now, Revenge of the Sith gives us, like, 40 lightsaber duels, I want to say, at least. Like, there's one every 15 minutes, which is not a bad thing. It's very entertaining, but Yoda in action offends some people, and I don't ever understand why people got mad about Yoda fighting, because <laughs> he's a Jedi Master, the most powerful of them all, and he's so wise in the original trilogy, it would only make sense for him to be fighting in prequels, so... Uh, anyway, I digress. This fight is cool, and the main re thing I like about it is when Yoda walks in, and he force pushes the two uh, Imperial Guards down. The Emperor obviously electrocutes him, and it leads into this fight that takes place in the big Senate room, and <laughs> it culminates with Palpatine just over dramatically yelling and doing his little thing as he throws Senate chairs at Yoda. And it basically becomes a force match between Senate chairs, which is only something the prequels could give us, and I'm not complaining. It's pretty entertaining. Coming in at number eight for me is going to be Rey versus Kylo Ren from Rise of Skywalker. Um, I don't really like this movie, I'm just gonna be blunt with you guys, but I will tell you this lightsaber fight's probably the standout scene. They're on the water. There's a shot of Kylo Ren walking out and he just looks very menacing and awesome. And I love that. His lightsaber is one of the coolest in all of Star Wars. Anyway, their fight is pretty decent. They fight on the water and that's really, <laughs> I haven't seen the movie in so long because I was just not a fan of it. It's not my favorite by any means, but the fight was cool nonetheless. Coming in at number seven is going to be General Kenobi versus General Grievous. This is a very short but sweet fight. I love seeing Obi-Wan jump down and say, hello there, and then General Kenobi. Their fight is really cool to see um, when General Grievous extends his arms to the four blades and he's doing his helicopter thing. I love how Obi-Wan dramatically goes like that with his saber, and that's actually my favorite saber hilt. And I love the way that it ends, Obi-Wan forcing the blaster, shooting Grievous in the chest as the plate was opened up, and then he says, so uncivilized, and he throws his blaster to the side, so it's a great little fight, and I think it was something we wanted, because Grievous was teased for so long in the Clone Wars micro-series, to see him in a live-action form was dope. Coming in at number six for me is going to be Anakin and Obi-Wan and Yoda versus Dooku from Attack of the Clones. Now, this is a fight that is very long and drawn out because it originally starts off as Anakin and Obi-Wan. They fight Dooku, and it's on Geonosis. They chase them down. Anakin's coming in pretty hot and heavy. Obi-Wan gets slashed. <laughs> which leaves Anakin with one lightsaber, his green lightsaber at the time. Anakin ends up fighting for like two seconds with the green lightsaber and the blue lightsaber versus Dooku. His green lightsaber gets chopped away and then the power kind of goes out when Anakin chops something and you just see them kind of twirling their lightsabers in the dark. Very dramatic. And then Anakin obviously gets his arm chopped off. So him and Obi-Wan are out of commission and then Yoda pulls up and just kick some ass. Like, I literally love Yoda in this movie. He walks in on his cane, and he's just kind of like that, and then he's like, whoop, and he pulls out a saber, and I'm like, oh man, this is awesome. The score kicks in, he goes, <laughs> he just goes to town on Dooku. Uh, again, I feel like people at the time did not like that. 
but I was such a fan of it as a kid and I still love it now. I don't care. Seeing Yoda twirl around with a lightsaber is amazing. I would not want anything else in the world and I love it. So before I give you guys my top five, definitely drop your ranking down below and definitely hit the like button. But coming in at number five for me is going to be Rey v Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens. Now this honestly could have made the push for being higher on my list. It didn't, but the snow aesthetic is what makes this fight so awesome. It's Finn versus Kylo as it starts. Finn is doing decent and then he just gets destroyed. I thought he was dead, honestly, the first time I watched it. <coughs> Excuse me. You see the lightsaber, uh, Anakin and Luke's former lightsaber go in the snow and then it starts moving and I was like, oh my gosh, is Luke Skywalker about to pull up and then uh you see it go whoop, goes past Kylo Ren and then it goes into Rey's hand and she ignites it that moment gives me chills every single time I watch The Force Awakens I will never forget the first time I saw it in theaters I got chills I almost jumped out of my seat I was ecstatic and then they have a really cool fight that goes on through the woods there's an awesome moment where they're like up against each other like this and the red and blue uh like the reflection is on their face love that to death and then she channels the inner force gives Kylo Ren his scar, and then the Earth separates because Starkiller base is getting destroyed, and then they go their separate ways, but that right there is one of the best uh, lightsaber duels in all of Star Wars. So these top four are like elite to me, like by far my favorites. So coming in at number four for me is the Duel of the Fates. It's uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul at the end of The Phantom Menace. It starts with the iconic shot of Darth Maul revealing the double-bladed lightsaber as he goes, and it comes out of both sides sick. So there's like a lot of different things happening throughout this scene. There's like the Battle of Naboo going on in the air. You've got Padme trying to get Newt Gunray. And then you've got uh, the, the Gungans actually fighting out in the field. And then you have this lightsaber duel. So when it cuts back to the lightsaber duel, it's really intense. There's a lot of cool force jumping here. I feel like this is the first time we really saw that in action in the Star Wars universe. And um, it culminates really with this, uh, this shields, the security shields go up. And it's that noise. It's that and they're running, and Obi-Wan gets stuck watching Qui-Gon and uh, Darth Maul fight, and honestly, it's sad when Qui-Gon dies, rest in peace, I wish we got more of his character. And then Obi-Wan comes in like a ninja, and he <laughs> literally just runs in, going hard. Obi-Wan ends up getting falling down, and then he's looking up at Darth Maul as he kind of scrapes through. By the way, Darth Maul has one blade at this point, and then Obi-Wan channels his inner force. He jumps up, forces Qui-Gon's lightsaber, cuts Maul in half, and watches the puppet fall down the shaft like something out of the 70s. But hey, it's Star Wars, and I love it. The score by John Williams, my god, is freaking angelic. It is angelic to my ears, my soul. It warms me. I love it. And honestly, Duel of Fates is something I could listen to before I ran a marathon, but why would I run a marathon? I don't know. Coming in at number three for me is going to be Luke Skywalker versus Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi. Now, this fight doesn't have the best choreography, but still... The shot that really kickstarts it is when the Emperor is sitting there on the throne and Luke forces the lightsaber back to his hand and their lightsabers ignite and clash and the Emperor lets out a maniacal laugh. And then you see them fighting, you know, they're fighting and Luke runs out just wailing on him. You think he's going to turn to the dark side and then he ends up cutting off Vader's hand, aka Anakin Skywalker, and he sees it's robotic just like Luke's hand. And he's like, no, I'll never, I'll never turn to the dark side. And he throws his hilt to the side and then the Emperor starts electrocuting him and then Vader goes, no, which is one of the worst additions in special edition history. He throws him down the shaft and that's the end of the fight. But still, I just love the moments where Luke is wailing on his dad and you see inside of him that he's torn because he's sick of Darth Vader and he really is being pulled to the dark side by the Emperor. But the light calls to him in the end. My number two is Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker in Empire Strikes Back. And the reason it's above is because it contains one of the greatest reveals in cinematic history. No, I am your father. It's a great, great fight. It starts uh, on Bespin and Luke pulls up and he goes, and Vader ignites his lightsaber. They do a little clash, and that right there is one of my favorite shots from all of Star Wars by far. The orange of the stairs in the in the room. Oh my gosh, it's it's beautiful in the blue in the background. That might be my favorite shot from all of Empire. And then they have a really slow but very powerful fight. Vader's kind of just toying with Luke. And then they get out on the ledge, and uh, Luke obviously ends up losing his hand. And then Luke falls and miraculously lands in a hole that just happens to be open somehow, because he probably would have died in an ideal world, but it's Star Wars. But taking the top spot has to be Mace Windu 
Kit Fisto, Sase Ten, and Eeth Koth when they take on Emperor Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith. I mean, three Jedi Masters get taken out in the span of 30 seconds, and then Mace Windu duels a CGI Ian McDermott. It's the best fight in all of Star Wars by far. Cut the shit! Now, my number one is easily Anakin v. Obi-Wan from Revenge of the Sith. This is the most iconic scene from the prequel trilogy. It ties a bow on Revenge of the Sith. It is choreographed to perfection. I've watched behind-the-scenes featurettes on DVDs, and they're going hard. They are literally sweating in t-shirts just wailing on each other with these wooden sticks that are supposed to be lightsabers. The Mustafar system, the way that the lava just accents the blues and the reds, it feels evil. I love the setting, especially the dialogue exchange <laughs> leading up to it. Oh my gosh. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy! Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. You will try. I've watched it countless times. I had the Mustafar playset with Play-Doh slime as a child. And this movie as a whole is my favorite prequel. But the fight, it is the creme de la creme. I just said that word. I know I'm very pretentious. But it's the best Star Wars duel of them all in my opinion. Hard to top. And one day, cinema might reach that peak. So it's been 15 years of disappointing movies after disappointing movies. That is going to do it for my uh, list of my top 10 favorite lightsaber duels in the live-action Skywalker Saga films. So that's nine movies. But if you made it to the end, definitely hit the like button. Comment your favorite uh, Star Wars lightsaber duels down below. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to start doing a ton of Star Wars content because it's a lot of fun for me to talk about. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. May the Force be with you. Always. I couldn't forget this little guy. It's all I need in my world. This and my toy Millennium Falcon.